Yes, I finally have it in my hands. I, I, um, hello, vinyl community, music community, and people of the world. <laughs> um, yes, I finally have it in my hands. Um, I've been sitting on it a couple days. Um, I was waiting to meet up with uh, Matt Hayes uh, to give him his copy. Uh, you, know, you may have seen it in in uh, his video. Um, if you haven't, um, definitely check that out. Thrilled to finally have this in my hands. So, <laughs> very exciting. And, um, also, if you didn't see Matt's video, I got the, the I guess, a special edition that came with a rare 7-inch. Uh, split. Yes. Um, of uh, ring uh, ringworm and mind snare. So yes, I got the the rare companion record. Actually, I didn't. Okay, <laughs> I didn't pull that off too well. Plus, I, I left the used sticker on this. Uh, Matt and I just uh, thought it was it was interesting how um, these look very similar, the artwork. Um, <laughs> and this actually includes a little, this a very little, uh, uh, you know, comic, basically. <laughs> but it's a, a split 7-inch, not related to Tales from the Dead Wax. Um, hopefully uh, Andy doesn't get any uh, complaint emails um, wondering why they didn't get the, the companion record. Uh, Matt and I just thought that, it was, you know, it was it was too good to pass up. So I, I picked it up. Uh, he offered to pick it up. Um, uh, but I told him, you know, it's probably punk or metal. So, and... Those aren't really in his in his wheelhouse, so I figured I would pick it up. Yeah, so we went to Rhino Records, um, and uh, by the way, thanks for the for the uh, autographed copy of the comic, Andy. Uh, very excited. I already read the first story, so I, I like it so far. Um, <laughs> yeah, so so we got that. Um, yes, uh, yes. So. Matt and I went to Rhino Records um, in Claremont, California. I just wanted to quickly include these. Um, by the way, the... It's a thunder tube. Yes. Um, <laughs> not to, you know, give away my special effects, but... Uh, I wanted to quickly go over the, the stuff I got here on my channel. Um... Even though you know you'll you'll see the same stuff. Um, thrilled to pick this up, and a shout out to uh, my friend uh, over at Tom's Vinyl Shack. Uh, he's also a big Monkeys fan, so the Monkeys Porpoise Song as we go along uh, from Head, of course, a new motion picture, um, the seven inch. Uh, Matt Hayes actually found this for me. Uh, he pointed it out. Um, <clears throat> porpoise song. On the cold gems, of course. Yeah, so thrilled, thrilled, thrilled about this. Uh, thanks for pointing it out to me, Matt. Um, yeah. Definitely not one of their pop hits, but a fantastic song. All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it, it turns out this is, uh, uh, Swedish Euro pop. Uh, I just couldn't pass it up. It, it was in the $2 bin and, <laughs> uh, uh, Thomas Leiden, uh, fasten seat belts. Um, you know, I, I have, well, the, the fact that it's likely in, uh, you know, sung in a foreign language, I'll probably like it more, but, uh, um, you know, I have lowish expectations for it. Um, it is a blind buy. Um, yeah. 
I have a little correction to make here. Uh, <laughs> so Commander Cody, uh, Flying Dreams. Um, in Matt's video, I mistakenly said it, it was Funk Rock. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, country Rock. Country Rock. Um, they're also known for uh, Western Swing Revival, um, I believe. So, uh, Commander Cody, Flying Dreams. Um, yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Uh, I don't remember. You know, I was kind of on autopilot when we, when we were filming Matt's video. It was kind of spur of the moment. Um, so, I don't remember what I said in, in that video. But... The number one artist I was looking for um, when we when we had planned on going to Rhino Records was the Guess Who, uh, because they're one of my favorite bands. Um, uh, just some good, good Canadian classic rock. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, so I was thrilled to find not one, not two, but three of their albums for five bucks a pop. Uh, first of all, number 10. I have this one on cassette. Great album. Um, yeah. Thrilled. Uh, is this the, yeah, this is the be pulled there. Uh, yeah, it's a to pick that up on vinyl. Uh, then we have uh, So Long uh, Benetine or Benetine. And I also didn't show the, the gatefolds. Because, um, you know, it, filming in a car is <laughs> a little a little tricky. Um, especially when there's two people in the car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway. Uh, and then the, the third one, Rockin'. To guess who um, again of course <laughs> and these are in great condition um, so going from no guess who in my collection in my vinyl collection to three that's that's really really good I'm very very happy um, yeah Canadian rockers all right, and then this is a first to my collection. Um, uh, prog rock, uh, very, very popular in the um, vinyl community. Uh, Klaatu, for five bucks. And this is Sir Army Suit, which I, I think I also failed to mention in uh, the video with Matt. Um, which I believe we're, we're calling the Greg and Matt show or the Matt and Greg show. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll see how he titles it. <laughs> uh, we've done a, a, a few of those now, but thrilled to pick this up for five bucks. I couldn't believe it. And, you know, there's a lot of ring wear on there, but uh, uh, the vinyl is great. And, ah, uh, yes, I do have them here. Um some CCLT, uh, Cassette Community Love Drain, um, from Matt. These were ones that he had shown in um, one of his big haul cassette videos um, some time ago. Was going several videos back. Um, the first one, he, sa he said he had no interest in it. And I said, hey, if you're not interested... Uh, I will definitely take that off your hands. And he was very kind enough to uh, give these to me. So um, this is Dolly Parton, Linda Ronstadt, and Emmy Lou Harris Trio. Very, very cool. Very cool. And then a uh, shout out to uh, my buddy Scott Waters. Um, yes, uh, as I'm blurry. <laughs> but you want to see the cassettes, right? Uh, White Cross. Uh, this is Triumphant Return. 
And I didn't remember that he uh, that um, he had uh, two of these by White Cross. Uh, this one is pure metal. Very cool. And then another uh, Christian metal band, uh, Tourniquet, Psychosurgery. This one has an interesting back to it. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, Matt. Um, I know, uh, you know, metal's not your thing. Um, and I, I think he said he, he, he didn't even play them. Um, so... I, I was happy to take them off your hands and uh, very, very generous of you to, to give them to me. So I appreciate that. Um, anyway, very, very excited. Again, I have read uh, the first story in Tales from the Dead Wax. Uh, you can look that up on, on uh, uh, Facebook. There's a, a Facebook page for it. Um, where you can get connected with how to order a copy. The copies are selling very, very quickly, so uh, you might have to act fast. I do love the <laughs> the ad on the back, uh, Rocks Records, um, uh, sort of a, a and also a no no life till metal. That's you know Scott Waters, um, so very very cool. Um, thrilled to have my my uh, copy of this. So and. Everybody else is doing it, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my my little, uh, um, what do you call it? Cover cover shot. Uh, yeah, let's 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 strike a pose, okay? Too much fun. Anyway, <laughs> yes, very cool. Um, definitely check it out. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, the the first story was was entertaining, so uh, uh, I'll look forward to reading the rest of that and uh, checking out future issues. So uh, yeah, very cool. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.